So, you join me here in the Ultima GTR um, at the Nordscliff. Looking across at the uh, the back end of the uh, GP circuit. We were doing a bit of commentating on yesterday. But, enough of that. Why I mean the Ultima GTR? Well, if you've watched Misha's latest video, he took this thing out for a lap. And... Uh, it was pretty evident that it scared him silly and we're all about stupidly quick, quick cars in AMS 2 so no ABS no trash control just over 600 brake horsepower in this thing with not a lot of weight and it loves a good bit of lift off oversteer. It also loves to uh, just snatch the back end when the power comes on. And it's a handful. It's a handful cheaper. So it has got a bit of aero. It is very, very, very quick. Whoa. And you do give, have to give it its, your full attention. Which is not what it's getting here. There is a bit of a surprise as well. I'm just trying something and I'm fine tuning it. I've got to keep a little bit of power on there. Once that back end is just going to say goodbye. Down the hill, through the dip. So I used to, uh, when I was uh, playing AC a lot, I used to go in a, an online lobby system where you'd start the lobby, you'd have a choice of 12 or so cars, um, different classes, and uh, you'd start at the car park in the visitor centre and you'd just go around and hot lap. But because everybody else was doing that, come across cars on the track and there's nothing worse than just bimbling along here in an empty track so I've tried or I am trying to recreate that and when I get it down pat I haven't yet um, I'll uh, let you all know if it works I don't know if it's going to work or not yet look we have cars uh, there are many classes of cars, so we should be coming across the cars at various stages throughout the lap. I'm just doing one lap, this is just a bit of a test. And uh, uh, yeah, you get an idea of um, how quick this thing is. I gave these guys a 30 second head start, and we're already on them. But you'll get uh, an idea. Oh look, the little Fiat stuck in there. We'll just squeeze our way up the inside. Follow the Porsche through. They're all getting tangled up with each other, so I've got the settings wrong, but never mind. The idea kind of works. If I can get through. This is why I don't like racing on this track. It's um, There's not a lot of room for activities, really, like overtaking. The AI is on 110 and just trying to kill each other. I'll just use the grass. Not the best place round here. I'm on the wall. I'm on the wall. Yeah. Whoa, okay, too much power. Now then, Porsche versus Polo or Golf or whatever. That didn't take long, did it? Let's follow the Porsche for a bit. So we get through, there seems to be a gaggle at the back, which we're through now. Um, so oh, we've hit another bit of a gaggle, which we did well. Come on, Porsche, get through. They seem to be really hesitant at overtaking on here. I don't blame them. But anyway, it's kind of working, kind of getting it. Super, come on. It is literally a Volkswagen Polo. Just get round it. 
or a Golf or something. Porsche's back through. Temptation is just to hit the throttle and even just slightly hitting it and go sideways. Yeah, I think the track's the problem here with the AI. There's just literally not enough room for them to get past each other without doing some crazy stuff. But I'm human, so I'll do the crazy stuff. Get out of the way, Porsche. You've had your chance. Ah. Okay, I am uh, yeah, I'm just struggling for space. <laughs> not power, not speed, space. Uh, I lost the back, get it back, thank you. There's a space, there we go. Oh my gosh. This is uh, a beast to tame that I am struggling with. I would say this is on here as hard to drive, if not harder, than the uh, rough yellow bird. It is that kind of level of uh, it's trying to bite you at every bump. Jeepers on every curb. Yeah, I can see Mish's point of it's not suited to here. The suspension is way too stiff. Just getting unsettled everywhere. It's a handful. It's in, it kind of enjoy. Whoa, jeepers. Yeah, just it just that just on the throttle, just backing. Kicking that back end out, it's like it's got absolutely no aero going on at all back there. There's a massive wing, but somebody stuck it on upside down. It's just throttle, it's just unbelievable. Right, coming through, guys. Up into fifth. You can see the speed difference. On this little flying road legal car, which is just a you would drive this on the road. Coming up on the Supra. Supra moved across. Obviously it hasn't got any wing mirrors. Or oh, here, this thing coming up. So yeah, that was it, just one lap. Where did we get? Position 10 out of 25. Okay. Still working on this. Uh... Oh no, we've got two laps. Oh, right, okay. Our luck is in. We're halfway up the field. Can we catch the rest of them? Now that everybody's spread out a bit, we can uh, start to let this thing. bit more oomph. I am really struggling to speak and drive this thing. You've got to catch it so quickly. Flooring it in third. Just letting off over the bridge because it will lift. Letting off over here as well, down to third. Trying to keep it smooth as you can over this bumpy track well the back end just once it goes it, it lets you know very quickly but getting back is another matter up into the top we're absolutely flying braking down to fourth a lot of lift off oversteer down to second the hill, 
these bumpy sections just scare you half to death because you don't know what the car's going to do. What you do, it's going to try and uh, it's going to try and finish you. Massive blip on the downshift there from me. The back end will lock very easily. Curbs don't want to play with them. check this position situation yeah I am 10th so I don't know where the others have gone but that is work in progress so we may see them we may not let's just keep trying to get this around the track as quickly and as safely as possible great on the brakes but you kind of get lulled into how quickly you're going hey, you don't think you're going as quickly as this thing is oh lock 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 oversteer whoa back oh too much power oversteer up the hill third gear don't stomp on it back just just stepping all over the place on the on the bumps going up the hill there. Enough a big blip on the downshift. Whoa. Okay, up the big hill. Jesus again with the bumps and the back end just literally jumping left to right. See why Misha was uh, looking quite perturbed driving this thing. There is not much room for error. It is on a knife edge, cheapest. Yeah, fourth gear there in the back. Rear is lit up over a little bit of uh, bump on the road and. Uh, Instantly the back end kicked out to the right about three foot. Uh, I would suggest everybody give this a go. Just for the sheer terror in VR. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll use full throttle. Let's go for it. Uh, uh. Maybe not over those bits. So we haven't seen the other car, so I've got some. Whoa! I've got some uh, fettling to do, as they would say in the north. Whoa! gear change there by me just calm it down Owen a big shout out to uh, Mets and uh, all the racers from last night I uh, got to co commentate on one of the uh, big uh, race events for AMS2 all the top drivers and teams were there uh, a bit humbling when you see those guys racing and the pace they've got people that you, you've raced before and you know they're aliens and they're kind of midfield and at the back and you're thinking how quick are these guys <laughs> what's going on but yeah it's, uh, it was a good uh, it was a good crack as they say in Ireland uh, doing the, uh, the live stream co-commentating enjoyed that voice lasted out. It's a long session but uh, I think we're doing the next one. I think we are. As far as I know we are. The next round will be uh, next week I think or something like that. Anyway, as we wrestle this GTR 
towards the end of its uh, little race here. We never saw the uh, the other guys. Oh, what? What's the tyres like? No, it's not the tyres. It is literally the car trying to uh, end me. Yeah, a bit more work to do, but it's kind of working with the uh, multi-classes and leaving a gap before you start. Um, so we'll work more on that because there's something I miss. Actually, uh, just passing traffic and stuff. Uh, the aero worked perfectly well at uh, high speeds in this, and this has got some high speeds. It's just you get uh, you get down here and it's doing absolutely nothing for me. So thanks for watching. And here we go across the line. Third gear. Adios. Adios.